Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, what I wanted to do was sit down and share some of my thoughts about what's been going on in the vegan community and some stuff that's been going on with YouTube. So as many of you probably know, uh, there have been quite a few high profile vegans who have recently come out and stated that they no longer follow a vegan lifestyle. And by no means am I making this video as a hate video, I just wanted to share some things that I have noticed. So the first thing that I wanted to point out is that the reason that these videos are getting so much attention is because they are extremely controversial. So veganism is a huge movement. It's one of the fastest growing movement that exists right now. So many people are adopting a vegan lifestyle, but each individual person that goes vegan is not going to get the attention that say a five year long vegan who promoted the lifestyle heavily on their YouTube channel decides to go back to eating animal products. That's a lot more controversial. So it may seem like it's a huge deal, but to be honest, in terms of how many people are going vegan, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It is unfortunate that these young people have so much reach and responsibility, and there's no doubt that some people are gonna watch these videos and go back to eating animal products just because they look so much up to these people. But uh, there's definitely more to it. So I mentioned in a previous video what the definition of veganism actually is. So veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible and practicable all forms of exploitation to animals. So for food, clothing, or any other purposes. And I think that the definition of veganism is getting lost um, by a lot of people. A lot of people who are promoting you know, a healthy vegan lifestyle I think that the definition of veganism is, is getting lost. So yes, there is such a huge focus on food because food is the main issue with um, animal abuse. Like we do it three times a day. It's the easiest thing you can do to um, reduce animal suffering. But also if you adopt a vegan lifestyle, you are doing so much better for the planet and also uh, for your health. I think that because humans were we're selfish we we care so much about ourselves i do too i want to eat a diet that's going to make me healthy but we focus so much on just the health part of veganism and the definition of veganism kind of gets lost so when somebody says that they are no longer vegan because the vegan diet didn't work for them i am very very skeptical because when somebody says that they're vegan, that does not tell you anything about what they eat. It tells you nothing about what they eat, okay? There are seriously a million different ways you can be vegan, just as many ways as you can eat a standard diet. And there are four things that I've noticed about all of these people who are no longer following a vegan diet. So I wanted to mention those four things. So one thing I've noticed about these ex-vegans is a lot of them are searching for some sort of optimal, perfect state of health. And I do think it's a good idea to always strive to be better and healthier, but to what extent? It's true that adopting a healthy vegan diet will cause you great benefits, but just because you're vegan doesn't mean that you will never have a cold again, a pimple, some sort of bloating, uh, marital problems. Every problem that humans face, vegans also face. So it's not gonna cure everything in the world. And I think it's important to remember that. We don't live in a vacuum. We live in an environment that has toxins and we're gonna have to deal with some issues in our lives and diet can't solve everything. So that brings me into my second point. I've noticed a lot of these ex-vegans have in common is they follow extremely restrictive diets. So what I've noticed is a lot of them get into raw veganism, juice cleansing, unsupervised water fasts. I've seen drinking turpentine, drinking their own urine, like just to get to this 
optimal state of health and it just seems so crazy. You know, I followed quite a few of these people for a long time and looked up to them when I first went vegan, but um, I remember last year I unsubscribed to a couple of them because I noticed in their videos they were promoting these really restrictive diets and meal plans to their audience and I just didn't think that was healthy and I know that I share a lot of what I eat on my channel. Like I promote uh, a nutritarian diet because I found that that's what works for me. Um, it's a high nutrient, whole foods, plant-based diet, but there's absolutely no restriction in this lifestyle. You eat until you are satisfied and full and you, if you're not, you just keep eating. You just have to eat the right foods. I just think that a calorie restriction mindset is so unhealthy and it will not be sustainable. Um, there's no animal in the wild that restricts their calories by choice. The third thing that I notice about these ex-vegans is they never mention um, any science or plant-based doctors. And I think that is so important. Like I mention it all the time, these amazing plant-based doctors, they've already done the work for us and we just need to follow their advice. When there's something that's going wrong with your health or you sense that there's something going wrong, you need to be responsible and go to the doctor and get a blood test. You don't just assume that you have a nutritional deficiency and start eating fish and eggs. Um, none of these plant-based doctors recommend that. And I've never had to do it before, but I know that they leave their contact information online for people. If you're ever uncertain of something, you can just email them and they can point you in the right direction. So there is help out there if you are unsure what to do. I think that if health is a main focus of yours, try to change your mindset from, you know, looking good in a bikini or having clear skin, uh, to living a long, healthy life free of chronic disease because that is what a whole foods plant-based diet can do and that is priceless. So the fourth thing that I have noticed about these ex-vegans is that they don't have a strong ethical connection. So a connection to the animals. And a lot of people come into the vegan lifestyle because they're interested in health and I think that's fine. That's how I came into the lifestyle as well but I do think it's important for every single person to do their research about the animal agriculture industry because veganism is about so much more than just yourself. If you are vegan for health, um, it is not going to be enough. And the reason I say that is because we live in a world where veganism is not convenient right now it's getting better but we are constantly being told to eat animal products on advertisements billboards commercials and if we don't have that ethical connection that will keep us vegan then our health isn't going to be enough it, it won't so one thing i notice is usually the first things that they eat are fish and eggs and i think that is probably because they feel less guilt about eating those products but um, I think that it's so unfair to put certain animals like fish below other animals. It's called speciesism. And just because we don't understand and can't relate to um, how an animal communicates doesn't mean that that animal doesn't have family, can't feel pain, or have a desire to live. We and all the animals on earth share one thing in common. We want to seek pleasure and avoid pain. And if the greatest body of scientific literature is pointing to a whole foods plant-based diet as optimal for human nutrition in all stages of life, then why would we want to put these animals through this? Basically, to sum up this video, I just want to say, be careful who you listen to online. Listen to people who are succeeding on a plant-based diet, who are mentioning the plant-based doctors and scientific data, and who have made an ethical connection. And I hope that these young YouTubers who are leaving veganism are not influencing you in a negative way because they shouldn't. 
you should look at these amazing plant-based doctors who have been following the diet that they preach for decades and they're living into their late years, not going demented, uh, living free of chronic disease, and those are the people that we should look up to. So I think that's it for this video. I just wanted to say, listen to those plant-based doctors. I have been listening to them, and I've been vegan for over four years, been getting my blood tests regularly. I'm thriving on a vegan lifestyle, and I do not intend to ever eat animal products if I don't have to. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully it'll be a lighter topic. Bye.